मर्जर वैल्यूएशन प्रोसेस इज डन बाय यूजिंग नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू टेक्निक इफ द सेटलमेंट अंडर अ मर्जर अटेम्प्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन कैश पेमेंट देन द टेक्निक वर्क्स स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्डली बट इफ द सेटलमेंट फॉर अ मर्जर अटेम्प्ट इज थ्रू द इशुएंस ऑफ स्टॉक देन द प्रोसेस बिकम्स मोर डिफिकल्ट एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स let see how these two techniques works differently first we have example of cash settlement we have two firms a and b both are equity firm a is acquiring firm b we see that before acquisition a has market value of 500 dollars and b has market value of 100 dollars so total market value of these two firms is 600 dollars A has outstanding shares in the number of twenty-five, where B has ten shares outstanding. Price per share for A is twenty dollars, and for B it is ten dollars. Now we assume the concept, uh, the effect of synergy. So the combined value of these two firms using synergistic effect is seven hundred dollars, and if the consideration to settle in cash it is 150 dollars cash so paying 150 dollars out of synergistic value of the combined firm of 700 dollars the remaining value rest with the firm ab is equal to 550 dollars now post merger rise in the a's share price is equal to 2 dollars the net present value of this merger to the acquiring firm is equal to 50 dollars which is the difference between the synergy value and the premium the but if we determine the average price of firm a using the value which it has remained after the payment of 150 dollars cash to the uh, acquired it is 550 and taking this value to the uh, market value which is 500 dollars and using these two figures with the probability of 60 and 40 we have a weighted average value of 530 dollars if we use this value of 530 dollars in the net present value we will underestimate the value of the merger so this means that determining value of a merger is a difficult subject now let determine the value of common stock to determine the value of a merger uh, we have same data we have firm a that is acquiring firm b both are equity firms now the analysis may become difficult because we need to determine the number of shares to be issued to firm b we have a data here and we assume that there is an exchange ratio of 0.75 into 1 that means that against each share of one share of b 0.75 shares of a will be issued to the stockholders of b now the cost of cost to firm a will be equal to 20 dollars per share multiplied by 7.5 shares and this comes to 150 dollars although the value of stock settlement in this case is equal to the value of cash consideration in our previous example but this is not a true cost of merger to the uh, firm a how let's see that a's post merger outstanding shares come to 32.5 shares now the post merger holdings of b's shareholders in the combined firm will be equal to 23% of 32.5 shares and if we determine the market value of b's holding in the combined firm it comes to 161 dollars which is 23% of 700 now this is in fact the true cost of merger to the stockholders of firm a now let compare the share prices of firm a the cash 
buying under cash buying share price is equal to $22 whereas under stock buying it comes to $21.54 so there is a reduction in the share price of the firm and that is $0.46 this is in fact the transaction cost to the stockholders of the firm in this merger now why this stock cost stock transaction cost is so high uh, exchange ratio of 0.751 to 1 0.75 to 1 is fact in fact is based on the pre-merger prices of firms A and B but A's share prices rise after the merger so B's stockholders will receive more than $150 in the firm A a question arises that the what should be the exchange ratio so that B's stockholders should receive exactly the stock value equal to the amount of $150. To solve this, let assume alpha is B's stockholders holding in AB. So the post merger value of the B's shareholders should be equal to the product of alpha and the market synergetic value of the combined firm which is $700. Setting alpha into $700 equal with the $150, the alpha value is equal to 21.43%. This means that to equate the value of A's stock going to the pocket of B's shareholders equal to the dollar value of $150, A needs to issue 21.43% of the combined firm's stock to the whole stockholders of B. By doing this, AB's total outstanding shares now should be equal to 31.819 shares. Now, the exchange ratio which we are determining new is equal to 0.6819 ratio 1. Now, we determine again the A's share prices under both of the cases. Under stock buying, it is equal to $22 using the new shares, uh, total shares of the combined firm. And under cash buying, using the total shares of the combined firm, it is equal to $22. Now, at this stage, we can see that the fair exchange ratio in this merger attempt is equal to 0.6819 ratio 1 because at this ratio the value of the stock going to the stock uh, value of the A's stock going to the stockholders of B is exactly equal to the value of the cash buying which means that under both of the cases the value of the merger is equal to $150. So now when do bidders want to pay with the cash and when do they want to settle the merger consideration with stock? There is no easy and straightforward formula. In fact, this decision is most importantly links with the bidders on stock price. But there are certain implications for this stock settled transaction like acquirers, managers, may likely to have a different views than that of the market and in that case uh, they are more informed than does the market so they may be believer of overvaluation of, of their stock and this may end up giving away less than the fair market value of the acquirer's stock price this might tip off the acquiries manager to think that the acquirer is overpriced Alternatively, uh, alternatively, the acquiry may demand a cash deal or the acquiry may choose not to deal this merger at all. Like acquiries learning from negotiations, the market also learn. There are empirical evidences that acquirers stock price generally falls upon the announcement of the uh, stock transaction settlement. The conclusion from this discussion is that mistakes are likely to made in stock for stock transactions.